Right, so today I wanted to talk a bit about how to set up a custom splash screen a video for when your Raspberry Pi boots up. So once it boots up, it'll just automatically play a video before emulation station starts instead of just the static image. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is actually get a video and put it into a folder. So we're logging in as root on WinSCP just so that when we transfer it over, it will actually let us transfer it without worrying about permissions or anything. So we'll go up a folder, full screen, and then we'll go into um, home, pi, retro pi setup, supplementary, uh, and then splash screens. And so this is where all the splash screens are held. And we'll want to put our splash screen into it. So we're going to create a directory by clicking the create directory folder um, and we'll call it video just for simplicity's sake but you can call it whatever you want um, and press OK and then we've got a video folder here so I'm going to go into my videos um, on my side here alright and then I'll open up into the video folder on our splash screen section on our Raspberry Pi over here on the right and on the left is my uh, computer information or my my home computer um, on the left so I'm just going to drag and drop that and copy it into there and we'll remember that for later but so that's that's the video that it's going to be booting uh, to start with um, and it can be like a .avi or .mov uh, .mkv uh, it might vary depending on the codecs you're using but um, those does it work? Some might not have sound, and so um, if the MP4 doesn't have sound, like one of mine didn't, you can just change it to AVI and it worked just fine for me. So um, once you got that done, you're going to want to actually install the video player on your Raspberry Pi. So I wrote down um, a few things because by default the newest version has issues with the firmware, and so it causes debus errors and it won't boot your video and it just it doesn't work very well um, that needs to be fixed in the source code before um, it'll work with the new firmware for the Raspberry Pi 2 so uh, in order to go around that I decided to just install an older version that didn't have problems with the debus errors so that's what we're going to do right now is we're going to install that older version of OMX player that's what it's called the video player it's called OMX player so I'm going to minimize this and then I'm going to go into the terminal. So on the right side, that's just notes that I have for which places are what. So what we're going to first do is we're going to do, um, so we're in the home folder here on in our terminal. So we'll type in make directory media. So you can see right here that a media folder has been created in my home folder for user pi. And I just logged in as Pi when I signed in on uh, Putty, is what I'm using for SSH. And then we'll do sudo wget. Um, and then we've got this lovely long URL. Um, I'm going to put it in the bottom so that uh, you can just copy it from there because it's kind of annoying to type out all the way. I'm, I'm lazy that way, so sorry about that. We'll so you just right click press copy and then in your terminal all you got to do is just right click and it will paste it and then you can press enter and that will um, run your your command so press enter let it load for a bit okay and so now you can see if I press ls um, oh, actually I did something wrong right there you're gonna want to uh, do CD media and as you can see right there we're in media and then we get right there. So uh, you can do that. And then maybe I don't want to have the old one that I accidentally uh, put in there. So I mean, I guess I could have just moved it. That would have made more sense. But anyways, so if you wanted to delete it, you just do um, sudo remove omx and then tab to auto complete it. And just press enter. And then see that it's gone. So we'll go back to our media folder here. So that was my bad, sorry I'm not very efficient. Um, 
So we're back in our media folder, and you'll see that um, that's our folder there. So um, now we want to actually install it. That was just downloading the files to install, and now this is going to actually install it. So I'm just going to copy this again. Copy and we'll paste. I right click and then press enter. So it says there's a bunch of files. Okay, and so it's all set up now, installed. And so the one thing that we really want to do is this uh, right here, it's sudo apt mark hold omex player. Basically what that command does is it will keep the omex player from updating when you do um, updates on your Raspberry Pi. So that way you always keep the old version. So if you ever did an update, it wouldn't break it and cause the debus errors like it will um, with the current build. So we'll just do sudo aptmark hold omex player. Okay, it'll take a bit to, to register that. And um, Registering some more. Takes a little bit. Okay, so it's out on hold. Good. So we'll go back one folder, see. So now we don't even need that folder that we just created. Um, that was just somewhere to put it while we installed it. Um, so, I mean, you could have just done it from the hold fo home folder if you wanted. Um, but to remove it, all you gotta do is rm minus r, um, minus i, and then media. And this is a safer way to remove a whole directory just in case you accidentally choose the wrong directory. Um, so if you press enter, um, yes, you want to go down into it. Um, yes, you want to remove it. And I want to remove the directory. So um, that will remove it. So now you can see that I'm back to where I started, um, but OMX Play is still installed. So the next thing we're going to need to do is change a script to um, basically read our... Um, basically allow us to play a video instead of um, an image. So that file, um, I could modify it in here, but I found it easier to just use um, WinSCP. So I think I'm gonna do it in there. So the file structure for that is, um, go on to the left side here, home, pi, and then, sorry, uh, RetroPie setup, and then supplementary, and then the A splash screen, and then it's actually the file called A splash screen. So you can right click on it and press edit right here. And so this is the file that is currently there by default. Um, and so this is the file we're going to change. What we're going to change is this section here. Um, and right now it's configured to mostly just do images. And it has mplayer in there, which is another media player, but it's really sluggish at the beginning and the script wasn't very effective for using that as an alternative. Um, and the reason we're doing it in this script here is because we are able to go into the setup script and choose between our videos or between an image. So you can choose either or instead of just having it um, done by default. Because if you just wanted to do it by default, you could change the default file in the uh, etc initialization folder, but um, this this will allow you to work with RetroPie and the scripts by setting it up this way. So um, I'll also copy this code because it's kind of annoying to write all out. Um, so this middle section here, I'm going to copy that, and then we'll start right down here, and we'll paste. So that's the code we'll put in, um, and then. One more thing is, well, there's a couple more things. If you want to force HDMI out, you, right after OMX player, put minus zero, or the letter O, and then HDMI, and that will force your um, audio out to the HDMI port. So I have HDMI, and that's probably what I'll end up doing for mine, um, but it, it might not be necessary. If you have a 3.5 millimeter jack for like the four pole one instead of HDMI if you wanted to go out on that you do local
So um, either or, or you can just leave it by default without either and see if it works. Um, it works for mine, but then one more thing with that is if you want the video to be playing while emulation station loads, then if you emulation station loads before your video ends, it will cut into your video. So you'll still hear sound for your video, but you won't see the rest of it. Um, and that's, that'll be if you have this ampersand after the do start. Um, if you remove it, then that will allow your video to play all the way through before Emulation Station boots up. So if you've got a really long video, I would recommend removing the ampersand. Um, but if you've got a really short one and you don't mind it being cut into with Emulation Station, then you can just uh, put the ampersand there. So uh, my, my video, it's, it's pretty short, so I probably won't uh, have it there. So I'll just leave it. And I guess if it has any issues, I can just modify it later. So now that we've done that, um, now we just need to go and enable it in the setup script. So I press save up here in the corner, and we'll minimize that, and we'll minimize my notes, and we'll go back into um, my putty uh, SSH. So we're going to go back into the setup script here. So if you remember, it's CD RetroPie setup, and then sudo full space full stop forward slash retropy um, underscore setup dot sh. So there's going to be two things we do here. Oh, <laughs> um, I actually I reset my partition and so it's telling me I don't have enough space so I'm going to expand the file system um, do that so yes I will continue anyways um, but I'll, I'll expand it later and don't worry about it now so you'll go into setup and then there's the option for enabling and disabling splash screen and then selecting your splash screen so first we're going to enable it to tell the script to um, enable the splash screen and boot. And then this, this is probably going to be changed pretty soon. It, I think it was merged into the actual choosing of your splash screen, so there's not two separate ones, but for the time being, um, you'll do select splash screen. And then we'll go down to that folder we created called video, where we put in our, our video, and then we'll press uh, enter to select that, and then set to video. All right, and so that should be all that you need to do in order to start your video on boot. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it boots up with mine. So uh, we'll go to that right now. Okay, so I just rebooted um, and my splash screen should be working now. Um, so there it comes. All right, so it's running, and I deleted the ampersand just so it would run all the way through right before um, emulation station starts. Um, one thing I did have a problem with is that with the minus um, o HDMI thing to force it to, out to HDMI, it wouldn't work with my soundbar, so I had to delete that, and it worked fine after that. Um, but I also had to make sure I had a dot .mov file or at least encode it in MOV file, even though it was an MP4, because the YouTube MP4 I was using wasn't uh, quite working as well as I would have hoped. Um, the video showed, but the sound was really lagging. My guess is just because this is an older version, it doesn't really, um, it's not coded for the newer um, codecs. So until they are able to fix the problems with with the new version, then you might have to mess around with different video codecs um, to see if your audio will work. So, um, but yeah, so now it's functioning and it looks really good. So hopefully uh, that will be helpful for you.